welcome folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night folks. And uh, another 11 days, uh, actually no, another 10 days, uh, nine days. We're going to be kicking into spring. How cool is that? This is by Duke Ellington. A believer is an optimist who thinks of tomorrow. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow finish down 27, NASDAQ off 9, S&P's off 2, gold contract down $6.90, trading at 1,153 an ounce. Silver down 15 cents at $15.47 an ounce. Uh, with the metals actually down, folks, so what you had with the gold and silver equities, they rejected lower price, had lighter volume on the daily, are going to have lighter volume on the weekly, and they went topside. Platinum, platinum down $10, trading at uh, 1,119 an ounce. Copper down a penny at 262 a pound. Light sweet crude flat at $48.32 a barrel. Bonds, we had the 10 year up three ticks, 127. 30 year up 27 ticks, 159.17. And King Dollar. King dollar up 1,100 ticks, trading out at 99.75. King dollar's got an ABC structure on the way up. 101 is where King dollar wants to go. That's the first price projection. Euro down 159 ticks at 105. That's some uh, heavy devastation happening with the euro. That baby wants to go to par. It looks like it actually wants to go to 95. <laughs> so that that it, euro goes to 95. We're going to be at about a buck ten on the. Uh, uh, ought to be a buck five on the uh, Europe on the dollar. Yen, yen up 32, trading at 121.45. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Now, in the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. We we're going to start. We are going to start on the SPY. So, at the spy hat out here today, folks, you slightly lower, really a sideways move. Bottom line, we're making our way down to the December swing points that were 204.50. That is 198.55. Um, Volume-wise out here, we did 749 million versus 852 in the NYSE. We did 1.7 billion versus 1.8 in the NASDAQ. Uh, bottom line, this really, you know, you're down slightly, but that's really a sideways move. The three Qs. Three Qs are trading out at 105.11. And the three Qs also came inside the lower range yesterday. The lower range that we're talking about inside the, the three Qs goes like this. We're at 105.11. First stop will be one will be 99. So that's down six bucks, right? That's basically five percent. That's not the big number though. The big number on this, folks, uh, in the three Qs and in the market in general, and this will be uh, quite a hit is down at 90. Because when you look at 90, it's like, oh man, hey, that is basically, oh, that's 14% from where we are. So that in itself is one monster number. Gold contract, what do we do with gold out here? Gold contract is trying to close, trying to basically get into the 1132 swing low from November. Uh, what we did out here today is that we're at 1152, we got to 1146. You had light of volume, you know, and the XAU and the HUI, what they did is that they both rejected lower price on the daily, on the weekly, had light of volume, and they got out of there. The equities themselves, that's the, that's the XAU that's trading at the 65.97, and guess what? You can't bust them down. What's going to happen? You're going to try to bust them up. So bottom line. The top of this consolidation is at 83. It's a monster consolidation, and that's where we're going to go. HUI, we take a look at the uh, HUI. HUI did the same type of setup. HUI got down to a price point out here today of 154.45. Rejected lower price, had light of volume on the daily, the weekly. That baby now wants to run to 211. So uh, in both cases, that no doubt is one monster move, folks. Uh, what we are going to need there is a wide price spread accelerated volume. It's not, it, the, you're not going to creep up to those levels, folks. That's just not how it goes. I, and what I do expect uh, we will see is that wide price spread accelerated volume. 
The oil market, what do we have with oil out here? What we, have, what we have with oil is this. The oil contract right now, trading out at 48, 4831. This contract is making its way down into the swing point that was established out here on the 26th. The 26th is 4780. Um, let me see this. Actually, you've got the 4733 today. Yeah, but okay. Too much juice. Interesting. Well, it's going to be a close call. 4780 had uh, 460,000. We did 350. It's not bad, but it didn't get out of there. It, that 4780, uh, more than likely, we'll see that baby get tested once again. The bond market, we use the TLT, looking at the bond market. The, the TLT is the 20 plus bond ETF structure. We went up 92 cents today, 6.6 .6 million shares. That's after basically breaking a B point with 20 million. What does that set up? That sets up a complex ABC structure on the way down. That is setting up that it does want lower price. And King Dollar, King Dollar <laughs> is just something else, folks. Um, you talk about, this is going to be a classic as to what a straight line move is. And there's no doubt that we had the consolidation. Uh, that consolidation was about a month long. And then King Dollar just took right off. And King Dollar wants that 101 mark. <clears throat> what we do have from the, the highs of 120 all the way down to 80 is that there's not much in the way. You know, uh, so King Dollar can go a lot further than that 101. You know, King Dollar had volume behind the move out here today, did 88,000 contracts. That's a monster. That's a big number. Um, and bottom line is that this 101 is game, and I suspect uh, it's going to basically, it's going to be had, and it's going to be had pretty close. Now, after the close out here, there's a couple disasters. What the heck is this stock? Let's go take a look at this one first. Holy cow. So this is an equity that went up. Let me just see this. So this, uh, this equity went up from, is that today? This is wild. Hold it. ACAD, yeah. It closed at $44.76. And it started out the day, that was yesterday. Let me just see what this is doing right now. This is like bizarre, actually. Oh, yeah, it's smoked. Let's see what they're saying. Uh, ACAD. ACAD. Okay, so let's see what this is. This just went from $44 to $34. This is a biopharma drug. It closed at $44.76. It's trading right now at $34. So it's down $10, 25%. Uh, let's see. Uh, they saw the CEOs retiring and they they canceled the event, so they got some huge problems. Okay, so it's a biopharma focused on discovery, development, commercialization of small molecule drugs for the treatment of the central nervous system. Let me just see if they have any re revenue. So they, yeah, it's a small company, right? Okay, so what's going on is that oh my God, this is sick. Oh man, this this do not touch the stock, folks. This can really get smoked. So. Revenue in this equity, they're not even, that's 120,000, 30,000, my God. It looks like they claimed they were going to make 25 million this year, but it doesn't look that to me. It looks like they're going to make, a, they're going to be lucky if they make a million. And they have a market cap, this is, this is crazy. They have a market cap, folks, of, uh, <laughs> how is that possible? They have a market cap of, 4.4 billion. Wow. Okay, let me bring this back. I gotta, I gotta see if this thing just went from pennies to $44. Yeah, we did. Okay, get out of the way on this, folks, okay? This thing went from $1.80 to $44. And guess what? There's no volume all the way to 20 or 28. So that's gonna see uh, $28 pretty quick. This, that's pretty sick. Shake Shack. Let's go to Shake Shack. This is a uh, S H A K. Shake Shack uh, closed at. Uh, let's see. This is getting whacked too. 
Looks awful familiar. Shake Shack just went from 47 to 44. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. So we got a bunch of numbers that are coming out. And then at uh, uh, 4.30, folks, we get uh, a special guest, uh, Chris Gaffney. Chris is the president uh, of Everbank World Markets. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.